Welcome to Season 1 of Bard's Atlas. Enjoy. Eli? Yeah, hey, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, great. How was your trip? It was alright. I heard you were late. You arrived, what, like two days later than you were supposed to? I was tr tracking a story. I know. I heard your submission. Vision tech, that's one hell of a find. You know, memories are always a weird thing. You've got to be like, careful. Can we maybe just... Yeah, no, no, sorry. Sorry. Uh, I'm sure the Sanctum's got you on a tight schedule. Computer, open submission. Incoming message. New database submission imminent. Bar designation. This is Eli and... Fox. This is Fox. Log ID. Oh, I, uh, no. I don't have one yet. Numbers got a little screwy in transit. I'll update it later. Uh, you ready? Yeah, can we... Can we actually just hold off on this one? <laughs> wow. One week on leave back home and you're already taking the lazy route, huh? Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. It'll be quick, don't worry. Compiled. Begin submission. This is a translation of an old story from the Praven Empire. Fox translated most of it remotely from the Sanctum. I've done my best to complete it. The title loosely translates to Divided Mountain. It's told in three... No. Hmm? Uh, the more accurate translation of the title is Splitting Rock. You said Divided Mountain. Oh, okay. Great. Well, it's divided into three parts that are, according to our rough translations, as follows. Part 1. The spirit of the ground felt torn by her love for both wind spirits. She loved the wind of the west for his cool, invigorating touch, and she loved the wind of the east for her warm, soothing embrace. When, eventually, she could not decide to whom her heart and body belonged to, she chose both. With a thundering crack, the ground split herself in two and reached out in both directions to meet her two beloveds. Though she now enjoyed her complete happiness, the small beings that dwelled upon her back were suddenly separated from each other. For it was her splitting that forged the massive canyons within which the Pravens originated. Uh, part two. The Pravens first found themselves isolated and divided. Friends and family were now lost, torn away to the other side of these strange new canyons, and after the splitting of the rock, many of their people were lost to the treacherous hazards this new landscape provided. Soon, however, the Pravens learned to climb the rocks, and with climbing came the chance to learn other skills. Uh, skills including the building of bridges, the innovation of pulley mechanisms, and eventually, of course, the achievement of flight. It started as gliding first, Oh, uh, did I lose you, Fox? I'm here. Okay, what, what, what happened? I don't think this is the right time for me to do this. Uh, oh. Wha why? You, you tired or something? Uh, yes, actually. Yeah. Wow, are you kidding? I hiked 12 miles yesterday. Granted, I, I wasn't weighed down by your endless chatter, but Eli, I thought I'm being I... serious. I just spent the entire day arguing with every handler, deacon, and archon I could meet here. So, yeah, sorry, but I am a little talked out today. Oh, damn. Really? I I didn't think this would happen that soon. What What did you do? Excuse me? What? 
What, what, what did you do? Why did you need to argue with them? I'm just, uh, they called you back for just a week, and you're already in trouble. I mean, after everything that we went over on patience, discipline, knowing when to keep your mouth shut around the Sanctum Elite? <laughs> wow. New record, Fox. Well done. When you get back, we're gonna have to hold some serious review sessions on all of this stuff all over again. Fox. Fox, did I lose you? I can't come back. What do you mean? That's what I was arguing about. The Sanctum asked me back for the week, but... I don't know, then I guess they changed some mandates around. They asked me to continue my education here for a little while longer. Uh, uh, how long is... How long is a while? Dunno. Maybe a few years. Um, how do you feel about it? <laughs> how do you think? I just told you I've been arguing all day. Right, right, well, uh... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I know you must be disappointed. Well... I mean, how, how do you, you... What was that? I didn't quite understand. Nothing. Okay. Uh, well, maybe it'll be good in the long run. Better education means better shot at a better field assignment. Not stuck out in the marshes like me, huh? And, uh, I mean, we can still chat. I'll write, you'll write, and we'll share submissions. I'm sure you'll still uh, keep that capability. Right. And, um... <clears throat> I guess... Well, if they uh, change their... Or, or I, I could come by and... Fine. Fine. I guess it's, uh... I guess it's getting late for you. I'll, um... I'll try to... update this submission... later. F uh, f Fox? Fox? Fox, you there? Did I lose you? This is Preston Richard. We hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Bard's Atlas. This episode was written by A.B. Narayan and performed by Preston Richard and A.B. Narayan. Music and editing by A.B. Narayan. Bard's Atlas is a narrative and lore-building podcast that follows Fox and Eli, two traveling bards seeking new knowledge and stories across the universe. If you'd like to get in touch with us or submit a work of art to inspire a future episode, send an email to bardsatlas at gmail.com or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to leave a comment and a rating on iTunes. It'll help us out a lot. And as always, thank you so much for listening. Thank you.